Hey guys, so today we are going, actually before I say what we're going to talk about today, I want to say that my friend Kathy, uh, basically, okay, I gave my friend Kathy free reign. I said, choose whatever it is you want me to talk about. And I thought it would be something, you know, kind of PC, but no. What she sent me, she sends me, the first text message she sent me says midget porn. And the second text message said, well, okay, maybe not midget porn, but, you know, fetishes that uh, allude that will go to midget porn. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, fetishes. Okay, so after a quick Wikipedia search and just overall search, I found out there's a lot of different kinds of fetishes. Uh, fetishes, usually, um, the, the main things that fetishes sent around are either going to be clothing or some form of rubber, which I find kind of interesting, or body parts slash feet and footwear. Like, it's like kind of two categories. With a, with a kind of roundabout thing of um, uh, textures. So something like really cold and hard or something really soft, like a cloth or something. So apparently those are kind of the main categories of fetishes, uh, but they branch out quite wildly from there. One I just this stuck out while I was looking through is a fetish of uh, sticking your genitals into liquid. I find that very strange, uh, but they branch out into all kinds of different things. And it, it, it could be a sense, it could be as like hair, it could be like hands or feet. Um, but the main important thing is that it is something that causes arousal. Um, I actually just watched a documentary, which I'm going to link down below, uh, where these people actually were having fetishes on buildings and objects. And so it's, it's kind of fitting for this video. Um, the documentary follows a couple people. Their, uh, their fetishes are include a giant uh, Ferris-like ride, uh, the Eiffel Tower, actually one of them's married to the Eiffel Tower, which is kind of strange, a Berlin Wall, stuff like that. So it's a really interesting documentary. Um, it's different, for sure. I'll link that down below. Linking fetish videos. Uh, yeah, so other than that, I, uh, I, I did have a flatmate back in the States. I lived with for like two years or so. Um, he used to always jokingly say that I had a hair fetish. Now, I want to go on record, I don't have any kind of hair fetish or anything, but I do pay attention to hair a little bit more than I think most guys do. I think even though my hair is crap, I will admit, maybe that's why I like my beard so much. I don't know, but anyways, no, I don't have a fetish. But um, he used to say that because I would always be like, he'd be like, oh, that girl's hot. And I'd be like, ah, her hair is kind of messed up. And then, oh, we'd be somewhere and I'd be like, she has really nice hair. And he'd be like, are you serious? You just you seriously just told me that she has nice hair? I'm like, yeah, she does. She has really nice hair. Look at that. Yeah. I noticed it. And I think it's mainly because I was raised by two women for the most part. Uh, and I think that's kind of probably why I noticed some of those things. I noticed a lot of things like that. Um, but yeah, fetishes. Um... They range, they're a little odd and kooky, and some people have them. And this will suffice for my fetish video for Kathy. I hope you guys have a great day. I was gonna do my comment video today, but I just kinda ran out of time, so I'm probably gonna do the comment video tomorrow, so that'll be on my 100 subscriber video. Leave a comment or a video response on there, and I will hopefully get that for you tomorrow, if not Monday. It'll be really soon, really, really, really soon. All right. See you guys later. Bye.